been a while. I can't hear you if you're trying to talk to me. Something's blocking the signal from this thing. Well, let's take a look around. We're in a train station. This is the office, I guess. You know what's strange is, I didn't plan to be here at all. My other plans were really cool, but this is fine, I guess. I'm here now. Oh, guess what? I saw some soldiers outside. They were really scared and a little stressed out. What else can I tell you about them? Hmm. Um, oh, they followed a strange guy into the trees. And they followed him, and they followed him, and they kept following him because he was an enemy or something. And then they caught him. But by the time they caught him, they were so far and completely lost that they didn't know how to get home anymore. Yeah, that really sucks for them. I really wish this thing would work. I'm really sorry. My other plans are really cool. Look. Wink. But these aren't going to do us any good right now, are they? Oh, you know what you could do that would be really helpful is you can send in some drawings. Root really like some drawings of some photorealistic train stations maybe or some architectural renderings of your favorite lemon desserts or maybe a bunch of trees, a nice landscape or something. Yeah, thank you in advance. Spend a lot of time on it maybe. All right, be careful. It's clear. Soldier Durkin, see if we can use anything. Clint Sterry, write everything down. Prince, bring him in. It's an awfully nice train station for a town with no people, Captain Gravesite. Captain Gravesite, Captain Gravesite, this is a new mail tube, just installed, but no one finished hooking it up. Wow, I only read about these things in newsletters. Soldier Durkin, why don't you set up that tube? <gasps> Prince, let's make our new friend comfortable for the time being. Okay, Captain. You know what? I had some ideas about that. Maybe we could start by trying to take off his mask! Prince, we tried that plenty of times when we were lost in the trees, okay? Damn. It's not coming off anytime soon. <laughs> well, we've put that to bed for a while at least. Captain Gravesite, once I get this new mail tube to work, we can send messages to Battle Headquarters and let them know where we are. Oh, sure thing, Soldier Dirk, and send them a message and let them know we don't have a clue what's going on. I'm sure they'll rescue us in a blink. Hey, maybe we can get some news about the war. I bet those new, uh, those new secret weapons are gonna get deployed soon. Soldier Durkin, are you talking about the trains that walk like men? Yeah. Again? Uh. Oh, that's rich. It's all made up. It's just a rumor started by some jerk. Now, don't believe anything stupid. That's what I always say. No way, Glenn Terry. I've got a friend who's got a friend, and he says these things are real. He works on them in a factory out on the Veld. He says they're as real as a piece of paper you write a true day letter on. And he says they've got a name. I don't know what it is, but they've got a name. What do you think of that? Captain Gravesite, if you will allow me, I would like to personally kill this spy, just to be safe. As you know, we're running low on supplies, and I don't think we should waste any more beans. Hold on to yourself there, Prince. This is a prisoner of war, and I'm betting that he's probably got some information that the higher-ups at Battle Headquarters can use. Big time. Now, now, Captain Gravesite, before you say no, let me remind you that we have the authority under the emergency war justice powers to execute people we do not like. We won't even get in trouble, Captain, and I can do this real quick. Or, if you prefer, I can make it last a real long time. I studied both ways at Soldier Academy. I'm Prince, happy to... you've been trying to get me to exercise the execution powers ever since we bagged him in the trees. Well, why was he in the trees? Trees or no trees? <laughs> I say he's more useful intact. 
And as Soldier Durkin says, we may have a direct line of communication soon, and Battle Headquarters will want to say in what's done. Well, Captain Graveside, if he's with the enemy, he sure doesn't look like any enemy soldier I've ever seen. Wow! <laughs> wow! Well, well, hey, Glenn's Terry. Glenn's Terry, I did not know that you knew what the enemy looked like. Hey, Durkin, did you know that Glenn's Terry knew that what the enemy looked like this whole time? Wow! Hey, wow! Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say, Prince? I'm not trying to say anything, Glenn's Terry. I'm just real interested in what you think things look like. Oh, well, Put a roof on it, you slobs. Captain Gravesite, it is time that I begin a very violent interrogation. Now, Prince, we don't need you twisting on him just yet. All right, let me go over there and have a talk with him. Damn! All right. Ready to have a talk there, bud? See, we don't get a lot of opportunities to speak with enemy spies. So I don't mind waiting for you to get comfortable and start thinking about what you want to say. Thing is, I'm a sweetheart. I don't like seeing people harmed. But I'll have to sleep eventually, and I don't have a lot of control over what happens when I'm not awake. Sleep is a natural part of life. Can you comprehend what I'm saying? Have it your way. Oh, he's going to talk. The graveside, Clint's Terry, the Prince. I think I got the new mail tube to work. What? Oh. what the? Hello, prisoner. So you've decided to uh, show up, huh? I don't like this at all. First things first. What's your name? You want my name? Yes. What do we call you? All right. Come on. Well, here's what we're going to do, prisoner. What's your favorite thing about your world? What do you enjoy most of all? <laughs> Tell me, Cap. What do you enjoy? I, Don't take that. Oh, come on. I really like what? shooting guns. Oh, stabbing people. What do you like most of all? <laughs> you know, Cap, I think that's something you can agree about. Quite fond of guns. All right, well, guess what? I want to get you back to that in one piece, okay? But okay. I'm a nice guy. Don't okay? be nice. There's, there's people in this room that would rather see you gutted. Come on. Oh. And now, uh -huh. we won't let it come to that as long as you answer my questions. They're not answering. All okay. right. Are you ready? This is a waste. Okay, okay Captain. Let's play. Where are you from originally, prisoner? <laughs> I'm from somewhere you will never find. This is Captain. pointless. This is pointless. Mm, let's see. All right, who's your best friend? You, what? Why would you ask that? Captain, when you live a life like mine, you don't have a best friend. Captain, this is not working! They're not telling us anything Prince. good. Ca Captain, you have to threaten them with death! Prince. Come on! Hey! Hey! We weren't finished with you! Here I come! Prince, hey, hey, stand down! Stand down! What do I have to do to keep this from happening? What do I have to do? I have to remind you what happened the last time you got so upset? Okay, you're like a live wire coursing with chaos and electricity. You're like a bad dust storm on top of a lonely mountain. You're like a fire. You're like the flames of a fire, okay? Hey, you need to have a cool head. Listen! I can't stand it, Captain! Damn! <sighs> All right. Soldier Durkin, you said you had that machine up and running. Were you telling the truth? Yes, Captain Grace. I, we should be able to send and receive messages to and from Battle Headquarters. Hey. Would you like to try now? Hey, aren't we going to talk about what just happened? He sounded just like those voices we heard in the trees. Soldiers don't talk about things, Glenn Sterry. We write it all down in big ass books. We're clearly dealing with some kind of a thing. And I don't want any of you getting into it with him, okay? Nobody touches him. Nobody stabs him. Nobody talks to him. Except me. Am I understood? Now, Captain, hold on, because Just I'm... me! Ah!
again. Hey, look, these guys are here too. Isn't that a nice surprise? They seem pretty nice. They were all in the trees when the soldiers found them. This is Mabel. She's doing some folding right now. This over here, this is Ashes. She looks like she's holding something really cool. There's probably something fun in there. They seem like they know each other pretty well, judging by their close proximity. Um, this is Patience Kilson. He was wandering around all by himself. They all decided to stick together until they found their way out. That's all I know about them. Oh, when the soldiers brought the prisoner back, it made it so that we can talk. So yeah, give me a call and we can talk about stuff maybe. Test out this phone, see if it works. Give me a ring. Hello? Who is this? What's your name? What is your name? Timmy. Timmy? Hi, Timmy. Say whatever you want. What? What? Did you just say what? Yeah. Cool. This phone works great. Thank you. Well, I'm going to keep looking around. Keep an eye on these guys. There's lots of stuff in here. You like this? This is nice. What? I think you'd look good in this. What? No one looks good when they're dead, which is what we'll all be if we don't start finding some real supplies. Like beans, not dresses. I'm going to set this aside. Would you look at that? Damn. Great dress. Love that dress going to waste. Anyway, what are you so worried about? We're with soldiers now. We're doing okay. I shouldn't have to explain this to you, but I will. Gosh, someone wearing a dress like that could do whatever they want. They could order cheese cubes at a restaurant. They could climb up a big flight of steps and look into other people's windows. They could just freak out. That's life in the big city. We're talking about the dress. After everything we've been through, we can't trust anyone. If they find out what we are, what we can do, where we're from, they could turn on us. We have to be careful. If, if, if they find out who we are, we can't trust anyone. After everything that's happened to us, everything that's happened to you, the soldiers, they work for the government, the same government. I got it. Gee whiz. Listen, I just think we should play friendly for now. Get as much information out of them as we can, and then as soon as we figure out which direction to walk, we go. Back into the trees? You're kidding, right? <laughs> this is a train station. There's tracks. We follow the tracks, we stay close to the tracks and away from the trees, and we won't get lost. Hmm, you're talking about tracks, right? Yes. Well, tracks can lead anywhere, usually to more tracks, and more tracks lead to more tracks. It's confusing. We can't rely on following train tracks. Trust me, we won't leave until we know which direction to go safely. We have to look out for each other. <gasps> Beans! We should bring something back for the soldiers so that we don't look suspicious. Kilson! <gasps> look! Beans! <laughs> oh, beans! Oh, wonderful! Extraordinary! <laughs> look, look at all those beans! <laughs> Did you find any beans? I found nothing! Nothing of use! Why are you looking at me like that? As if I, <laughs> if I ever found some beans over here that I'm just choosing not to announce. <laughs> oh, he's crazy. Kilson, you're being crazy. I've started yelling again, haven't I? <laughs> My yelling always gets me in trouble. My apologies. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. 
No one likes someone yelling, patience. <laughs>
Uh, there's all sorts of piles. You might get sick. Uh, I, I don't get sick because I'm used to it, but you may. Don't come. You just stay there in uh, case we need to ask you some questions. There's all kinds of piles. I don't want you seeing my piles. Don't come. He really doesn't want us seeing his church. That's weird. Hey, didn't you hear what our captain said? Get the hell out of here, Scoop. Go on, get. I'm go. sorry, I'm so weird. <laughs> Soldier Durkin, let's send a message back to battle headquarters. Tell them about the walk through the tall trees, this town we're in, the mask guy and that priest. Let's try to figure out where the hell all this is going. This damn war. Soldier Durkin. Soldier Durkin, piece of paper and pencil, please. Got you covered, Captain. There you go. Okay. What was that priest's name? Did. Captain Bayside, on your order, I will attempt to send your message to Battle Headquarters. Send it, Soldier Durkin. Send, Captain. <laughs> oh, what? What? Oh, you're back. All right. Prisoner? Prisoner? Yeah? This is Captain Gravesite. Okay. All right, listen to me. This can I'm go listening. one of two ways. One, you play what? along and answer my questions when everything moves smoothly. Or, okay, or you don't. And this whole show goes south. You want that? You understand? I, I understand. All right, what's your name? My name is Sarah. All right, Sarah? prisoner Sarah. Sarah? Uh -huh. I have some questions for you. Prince, relax. I was trained in interrogation techniques. All right? All right. This isn't going to work. Prince? Okay. All right. Let's see. If you were stranded on a desert island, what three things would you bring? Why would you ask that? Prince? Uh, rope. A glass of water. A tea water. Water? Water. Because, you know, Island, it's real dirty. Uh -huh. so very bad water. Yep. And, um... Two more? Some beans. Oh, okay. Beans. Yeah. Something common. This is a waste of time. Beans We're learning a lot. What's that? Beans is uh, actually two of the things. It's just the water and the beans, and that's all I have. Two beans? Two beans? Uh -huh. Why would they bring Brint? two beans? Brint? Pretty good. I mean, no. We're learning something. All right. You wanna know what I bring? What would you bring? Flip flops. Don't tell me. Knife. Military issue water pants. Oh my god. Alright. Next question, Sarah. Yes. Prince, relax. Okay, sorry, Captain. What's the most important ingredient in a healthy relationship? What? Important! Communication. Com Communication. Wow. That's wrong, it's impenetrable defenses. Oh. What are we doing? What oh, are we doing? I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, let's see. Prince, you gonna relax? I am relaxed. All right. I'm relaxed. 
All right, Prince, do you want to ask a question? Yes. Yes, Please. I do. Okay, okay. You want the prince to ask you a question? Are you sure? Yeah, I wanted to ask me a question. All right, go ahead. All right, prince, it's time to ask a question. Here we go. Enemy, where is the enemy headquarters? You see, you're too heavy-handed. You got to build rapport. God, damn it. Uh, all right, listen up, soldiers. Here's the plan. The prince and I are gonna stay behind with the prisoner. He's that funky guy here that keeps lighting up. Nope, okay. Glintz Terry, Soldier Durkin, huh? go and check on the others. See if they've been able to scavenge some more supplies, hopefully beans. Captain. Yes, Captain. Glintz Terry. Yes, Captain. I'm just gonna take you aside to remind you that we're not here to play kissing games with the pretty women. I don't care how pretty or fantastic or unforgettable they are. I don't care how much they look like perfect angels or unblemished flowers or unbroken rays of light. I don't care if they look like paintings on the wall and sound like music in the hall. I don't care if these women are the most beautiful thing you've ever laid eyes on or even the second or third most beautiful thing. Keep it professional. Keep it together. Okay, Captain Graveside. Prince. Yes, Captain? Let's spend a little more time trying to figure this guy out. Yes, why don't we figure out all the information? So, uh, what is that right hand? Sometimes we'll fight fight a bad man. I'm out with Hey everybody! Wow! Would you look at all this junk? I'm here to see you. I I'm dressed. Oh, get it together, Glint Terry! How's everybody doing? We were all getting along, and then he started yelling. Oh! <laughs> my fault. My fault entirely. <laughs> I started yelling without warning. Uh, we found some beans! Beans? Oh, that's really good because we just gave some of our beans to a priest who was hiding behind some boxes and watching us. Why was he doing that? People will do just about anything for beans. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do later with these? I'm gonna count these up. Oh, that is a nice dress you have. Tell her how good she look in it. You can do it, Glitz Terry. What? Thanks. If I ever go to Government City, I'd wear a dress like this. I'm going to go there. I'm gonna go nuts. You want to go to Government City? Yes, more than anything. I dream of going there and going to parks, dance clubs, feed weird animals, go to experimental theater performances. Ah. <sighs> Have you ever been there? I'm... I'm from there. What? Stop! <laughs> Tell me everything! Oh, uh, well, uh, due to the secretive nature of many aspects of the government, no one can know everything about <laughs> Government City. <laughs> but I'll just tell you a bunch of other stuff I know instead. Ashes, perhaps you'd like to help me and Soldier Durkin with the beans? I'm kind the beans? of doing something. Oh, that's okay. I don't need your help. I don't even need your help. Don't take that the wrong way. Uh, 
Hey, you're so turkey, right? Hey, Mr. Kilson, how are you doing on your side of the room? <laughs> Hey, what's up with Soldier Durkin? Why was I be bothered with all these fiddly details? Why must I have to scrimp around in the dust and grime? All of these boxes and suitcases. <laughs> who, who do they even belong to? <laughs> Nobody! <laughs> oh, he's just going off. He's not getting along with anyone. You don't understand! <laughs> I used to be a person with responsibility. I used to have a big house in the center of a big town. My house had a sign out front with my name on it. And people used to stop and say my name right at the house. <laughs> I just don't understand how somebody can act like that, especially when you've got all these beans. Well, we don't know where he's been or what he's been through. Let's just leave him bean. I'm sure he'll tell us all about it at length. In the meantime, why don't you help me put some of these beans into boxes? Okay, but no counting them, okay? Because later, I'm gonna count them up. Count them up. Beans, beans, beans. Count them up. Beans, beans, beans. Count them up. Beans, beans, beans. Well, I did count some of the beans. Oh, don't tell me about it. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A town map. Here we are. Here's the rest of the town. The whole town. Empty as an empty thing. <laughs> but now I'm thinking of a thing. <laughs> Gilson, you clever, crazy old political. some more questions about about things I want to ask you. Waste. Oh, jeez. All right. What kind of music? Prisoner Sarah? What kind of music yeah. do you like? What? Music. It's a music. I'm trained. What do not interrupt. What? I like classic rock. What? What the? I've never what? heard it. Can you? Rocks? Can you sing some of it for me, please? Why are we singing? Why are we singing? Uh, you must not put me on the spot. This it is against my religion. I mean, this is a waste. I don't know much about music, but that sounds like this talking is... to me. Okay. All right, next question. What's a fun game? 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 I like tic-tac-toe. Tic Never heard of it. Come on, Captain. This is uh, insane. You gotta ask him good stuff. I'm, we're learning things. What are we learning? What? All are right, all right. Here's a, um, are you ready? We're gonna heat things up. Describe your perfect date. Oh my God. Uh, date? Perfect date. God, give me strength. Prince, please quiet down. Prince Sarah? She arrived in my apartment at seven o'clock. Okay. He's wearing a pretty red dress. Red dress. He takes me to the movies. Don't know what that is. Talking about. What are an action movie. And when we go home, we share a delicious ice cream cone. This action. is insane. An action movie. Action movie? What? What 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 is an action movie? What? What is an action I'm movie? I'm gonna kill him. Okay, I'm gonna okay, kill wait, him. Wait, Prince? Prince? I don't want to. Alright, one one last question. Prisoner Sarah, how loud can you scream? Why? What? Scream it? What? What? Would you like a demonstration? Ab yes, absolutely. Too, Too bad. <sighs> All right. You sure? 
Yeah. Can, can we kill him? Do you want to see how loud I can scream? Captain, what are you talking about? Why do you... Don't... Go keep, on. Oh, on don't me. scream, right. Captain. Here I Cap go. Captain, do not scream. <laughs> So then the priest says, everybody left him. And I'm thinking, you got to be dirking me around. Well, he should... What did you just say? I mean, we offered to let him stay with us, but he just wanted to go off and... I don't know. He was strange. Did you just say Durkin me around like your name? Yeah, Soldier Durkin. Just like that's Glenn's Terry right over there. Is, is that a phrase where you're from? Durkin me around? Well, yeah, like I, it's like I don't want to mislead any, like you. Got it. See, I'm not Durkin you around. Well, I, I always knew that I wanted to be a soldier. There was never any question. It was like a, a compulsion, a duty to make a difference. It is a big, strange world, you know. A lot of people say they don't know how much longer this war will go on. I have some uh, pretty serious views on it. Yeah. It must stink to be so far away from home, especially when you're from somewhere really, really great like Government City. Can you please tell me more about Government City? Well, uh, <coughs> oh, oh, when I'm home, I, I do a bunch of fun stuff. I have a, a blast with my many friends. We go to the Water Slide Park. Water Slide Park? Yes, it's where the children of people who work in Government City go to hang out and dish. My mother is the undersecretary for the rail ministry. Uh, she gets a lot of free tickets to the water slide park. We go down the slides and dish. It's a blast. <laughs> that sounds fun. But mm, I wouldn't want to ruin my clothes. And too much water? Well, it ruins my clothes. Does Soldier Durkin live in Government City? Oh, well, uh, that's not the only thing we do for fun. Uh, my friends and I, we go to the racetrack and we watch the Lambsers race around the track. On Truel Day, there's fireworks afterwards. My father works for the missing person's office, so he gets a lot of free tickets to I have a different name from my father. Racetracks, water slide parks, Truel Day fireworks, that's a lie! When you're fighting the war, all you want to be doing is doing fun stuff. Or maybe sitting in a, a nice place like this with a, with a special person like you. But then you'll get the opportunity to be in that place and to be with that person. You'll just keep thinking about the damn war. Gee, Soldier Durkin sure has a lot to carry around. I guess you could be right. I am complicated. Hey, I've never met anyone like you. What's the fastest train you've ever been on? <laughs> What are you talking about? Trains go slow. Not in Government City. The trains there can carry you from the Central Mail Office to the Ministry of War and the time it takes you to find a seat and sit down. Yeah, but they're so loud. All those bells and horns. No, not these. Uh, they go underground and in the air and they don't make a sound until the doors open. What kind of sound is that? 
Ping bong! Well, well! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Now, I have something I'd like to say. Something? Well, we all know this town isn't on the map. But I have an idea I think is going to put this town right on the map. <laughs> right on the map? <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the facts. Significant population decrease all the way down to boop, just one priest. <laughs> population statistics are directly connected to grant allocations. The very grants. <laughs> this town suffers from a lack of the civil leadership. Yeah, I'll say they left all their beans behind. It is time for bold new thinking, bold new leadership. In the best of times, or in the barest of times. <coughs> I've lost my train of thought. S -s Something about development grants? Thunder! The soldier, yes! That is something. At my core, I am a patriot. It's a big, drawn-out kind of war. And our men and people in uniform sacrifice so very much. Let me ask you soldiers a question. With all the fight and all the heroism and violence on the front, what do you need most of all? Well. If I can speak for myself, uh, trains like men sure would help. <laughs> trains like men? Yeah, trains that walk like men. Oh, give me a break, soldier turkin. Exactly! You need a break! What if you could come to this town and take a break? Picture it! We could fill this place up with, 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 with cafes, uh, stationery shops, bookstores. But first, we would need a... Brand new train station! Are you, are you suggesting that the government pay to turn this town into a vacation destination for soldiers? I mean, we need a break sometimes, why not? Oh, this is a joke, right? We don't even know where we are. We're trying to get out of here. Not a joke! <laughs> no, no, no. This is the future. A real plan. Kilson, I, I don't mean to bum you out, but this town, I mean, it it might not even be in, be a, sec in a sector sec that's controlled by the government. <laughs> not a problem. We'll simply send a, uh, a formal request. Yes, a form number, SG32X. Once we're found, we'll simply send the form and the government will oh, send you surveyors. Are full of it. There's no way that happens, not even with the right paperwork. <laughs> If I were to go somewhere, I'd go to Government City. Hey, uh, we've been talking about it for a while, and what I want to know is, would you want to go to Government City with me? Yes! I, um, probably. Ashes! <laughs> hey, I know everybody's busy, but if it would be really nice if you guys could help me parry all these beans back to the station office. Oh. I, I want to go to the office. All right. You, you go on ahead. <laughs> I have some thinking to do. My mind's a maelstrom of ideas. Did I say military? Yes. Yes, you did. All right. Government. City. Train. City. Train. Wow. All right. Let's see. You're clever. Um, bomb. Uh, explosion. Ooh, good one. Um, uh, gun. Gun. Who cares? Pills. Captain. Pills. Captain, he's not giving us any good information. You gotta ask him about something that means something. Please. I'm getting pretty sick and tired of being so nice to a bad guy spy. Could you hold on for a minute, Sarah?
Prince, I'm telling you to quit with your violence. This is an official investigation. Do you want me to write you down? Uh, Captain, can't you see what's happening right in front of you? He is an enemy spy. He's no good. He's all jacked up and way wrong. You're too busy being dragged along by violence and anger. Captain, how long have we been fighting this war? How long? How many bodies have we buried? And for what? The enemy is not good like us. They burn their bodies. We bury our bodies. Hell, I don't even know what we're fighting. Maybe no one does. Captain Gravesite, I am not angry. I am just very, very mad. Prince, don't you talk to me about burned bodies or buried bodies. Don't forget that I know what happens when bodies get burned. A bunch of bodies get buried and everyone just stays quiet about it like burned, buried bodies. Didn't I keep you out of war prison? Didn't I keep your body from being buried? Hey! This guy sucks! <laughs> no, no, no! Captain Gravesite, no. the Prince, couldn't you too? He needs to calm down, Blitz Terry. And you need to get a grip! This whole command needs a rethink before we all go crazy and nuts! Captain Gravesite, Prince, why are you guys so mad at each other? Oh, well, now you've gone an upset soldier, Dirk, and I hope you're happy with yourselves. You see, in certain circumstances, I have to take control of the situation. Ah, forget this! I'm out of here, everyone's being weird. We have been... Just like I was worried there would be. They cannot know what's going on here. They cannot stop it. The chimes of Erebus coming from another world. Yes. Hello. Hello. It is I, Vid, the herald of my new friends. Are you there? I'm here. Caller! Oh. What do you want? Have you been preparing for the true day miracle that will befall you and your denizens in the other world? Have you been making a space for our new friends? Of course. What have you been doing? Yeah, I've been uh, decorating my house up, uh, drinking lots of milk. These are the exact wrong things to be doing, Carla. Please, please send your signs and your portents to me to bid the priest, herald of the visitors from another world. 
what should I be doing? Send me pictures of the cat, pictures of the toad, pictures of the human being body. Oh, uh, all right. All right, how should, how should I do this? Send them through the pre-approved and duly noted True Day channel that has been made known unto you. Wow, technology is amazing. Caller, you must help me, or your world will surely be destroyed as the portal opens, which will, will happen so soon it is nigh. Oh, Lord, I hate when this happens. All right, I will help you as soon as I can. Thank you, Caller. Be gone, be gone, Caller. I am done with you. Be gone, Caller. Oh, be gone. Your time. Yes, forward, patients, forward. This, this is your big chance. Yes, yes, the ideas, they're coming to me. They're coming to me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, patients. My brain is exploding. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Is there someone speaking to me? I feel you inside of my brain! <laughs> yes. Oh. Ideas, I crave ideas, I need knowledge! Oh, yes. Finally, I will be the king of the town! <laughs> hey! What? Hey. A voice! Hey! Who's... Who's there? Who's there? You know very well who this is. It's Conciliator Patience Gilson. Who, who is this? Hey, you need to not trust that creepy, creepy tree guy. He's looking no good, and I don't trust him. I don't trust him either. I have. I know not of whom you speak. Let me ask you a question. What impresses soldiers more than anything? I must impress them. Beans and also guns. <laughs> what? Beans and guns. They already have those things! What's something that only I can provide? Uh, your love and your trust and maybe a little hug. Oh, that is so sweet. You stupid know, fool! Like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard! What kind no, of civic no, administrator no. needs love? What a civic administrator needs more than anything. Tell me that! Knowledge? That? No. Information? It's confidence. Oh. <laughs> confidence. 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 <laughs> Can you see me? Oh, thunder! Call us from another world. I am reaching out.
into the cracks of your world have has has this happy knowledge been born unto you of course it has then you it's know what important. you must do send the signs unto me vid the herald of our benefactors will you do this you glory to shut Ah, be gone, you speak the names of gods that are not ours. Be gone, Carla. I know. Hello? Hello? Is this a new caller? What's this? A caller for me, Vid the priest. Yes. Have you begun making cruel day preparations for the great miracle which will come unto you? Yes, I've been prepping the lemon muffins. The lemon muffins, yes, yes, though this year perhaps we need to add a pinch of something special to the lemon muffins. I'm sure you know of which I speak. Is it something orange? It is something orange, but do not speak out loud what the secret orange ingredient is. Just send.